So starting the test drive in this Armada here, it's funny, I just test drove a kicks back to back with this. And it's crazy just what the difference between a, a 5.6 V8 and a 1.6 four cylinder. Just, it's like night and day. I pulled out of that parking lot, gave it a bit of throttle and it was just pulling. So I really enjoyed that. That's one of the reasons that these are so fun. These and the Titans, I just love how the Endurance V8 does in terms of just that kick you get when you're putting your foot to the floor. Now in terms of the ride quality, this almost floats down the road. With these 20 inch wheels, you can feel the road a little bit in the, the foot pedal, but not really in the ride quality itself. Which is fine because these are, the platform that these run on are meant to be more rugged than pretty much all the competition is now. Even the most luxurious Armada is meant to be something that's good for towing your boat, something that's good for towing your trailer, things of that nature. For making sure you can fit your entire family and all your bags in the vehicle for longer road trips. But in terms of just the overall visibility, I like we're sitting up higher and the hood is actually lower than any point in the in the windshield and a lot of the times even if it's just an inch or so that kind of intrudes on your visibility but you're legit looking down on the road so it makes something big like this easier to handle i think and with that being said i still have tons of headroom with the sunroof the seat itself is very wide so I, it's for my wider stature not an issue and then just having the power seat with the two-way lumbar support, it's nice to have that adjustability for getting your perfect seat. And then you can set that up on your memory seat function here. And pretty quiet just in this seventh gear here as you're driving down the road. You're under 1500 RPMs here at like 50, 55. And it's just a nice, nice ride here. And I feel like you're probably getting a bit more than 20 miles per gallon. So that's about right there, a little more than 20, but it's fluctuating. I like, and I've said this before about the Armadas, I feel, I like how all the buttons are close but they're not right up on you. So you kind of have to reach for them a little bit, but they're right there, easy to go to. Screens up here, the screen's a little further away, but not really a big deal because you also have the knob down here below as well as the switches on the steering wheel for your audio. We'll give it a pull here while we can. And I mean, I gave it very little and it still threw me back in the seat. So pretty impressed by that. And I like the, the brake pedal too. You always feel like there's more that you can go. And it, it doesn't necessarily feel spongy, but you always feel like, oh, I need to stop. No, I really need to stop. And then you always have a little bit more to get you where you want to be. And that's hard to do in a, a vehicle is as heavy as this is. but we're gonna give it a nice big pull getting on the interstate here. So I certainly didn't floor it, but I gave it a little something and it was pretty effortless getting up to speed there. Now let's turn on this adaptive cruise. And I don't get embarrassed easily, so I'm gonna tell you what I did earlier. I test drove the Platinum, and I expected to have 
just based on the graphics and everything, I expected to have lane centering because this gauge cluster is pretty much the same across the Nissan Infiniti lineup. So when I had the cruise going, I expected the lines to appear showing that I had lane centering because it's a 24 Armada. Sure enough, this thing does not have lane centering in 2024. So that's been an issue for the past few years. I will say, I think the 25 with the QX80 and all of that, I expect to see the lane centering technology there, but it's still not available even on the highest of trims in these Armada. So just keep that in mind. But I still think this is pretty fairly priced. Again, big shout out to John Roberts, Nissan in Manchester, Tennessee for allowing me to review this Armada. If you're looking for an Armada, they have a couple left. As of now, they have an SL and a Platinum. So definitely check them out. But if you're like most of my viewers and you're maybe in a, a different area of the, the country, Hit that link down below, get yourself a new car quote. All you have to do is put in your name, phone number, email, and then you'll get these dealers fighting to give you the best price in the area. And these days, that's what you want so you don't have to necessarily go to five different dealerships to get an okay price. Just have them all fight for you up front. And that's one of the, the coolest things about my job is being able to offer that to my viewers. But all in all, I think the Armada is still a great SUV. I think we might see a, a twin turbo V6 come up here soon, just because that's pretty much what everyone else is going to other than GM right now for their big SUVs. Toyota has the twin turbo V6, Ford has a twin turbo V6. And then you have the, the option to get a turbo six and the Wagoneers, that's just the way things are going. We're putting turbos and things to be more fuel efficient and to abide by these newer EPA standards. But all in all, still a beast of an SUV, I think, as is. And this will bring me to the end of my review of this 2024 Nissan Armada in the SL trim level.